confusion and the darkness of this world. The devil is the enemy of God and man. But God gives us a way out of destruction. God gives us a way out of the sin of the devil. God gives you Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus said, the devil comes not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And this life is eternal life, a life that is incorruption, a life that is imperishable, a life of immortality. The life of Christ is immortality. The life of Christ is incorruption. The life of Christ can never die. And when the life of Christ comes into your heart, my friend, you have eternal life. And if you die living this world, you pass from death into eternity in heaven. You will live forever in heaven. You will never die. In heaven there is no death. There is no sickness in heaven. There is no pain, no sorrow, no sadness. In heaven is a place of peace, love and joy forever. And the only way you can have that, the only way you can have eternal life is that you believe in the Son of God. You believe in Jesus. You believe in Jesus from your heart. The Bible says if you believe in your heart that God has raised Christ Jesus from the dead and you confess Him with your mouth as Lord and Savior, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart, believe Jesus in your heart. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus didn't say I'm one of the ways. No. He didn't say I'm one of the truth. He didn't say I'm one of the life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you, sister. I am the way, the truth, and the life. He did say I'm one of the life. There is only one life. There is but one life. And that life is Jesus. So you have human life. You have human life. Your human life someday is going to die. The human life someday is going to die. The human life has a tendency of getting infected by viruses. The human life has a tendency of getting infected by disease. The human, die, the human life has a tendency of catching a cold, of catching malaria, catching fever. Yes, because the body of man is weak and fragile. The body of man is mortality. The body of man is corrupt. That's why when you get old, it doesn't matter how long you live, my friend, you don't live up to 50 years old, 60 years old, 70 years old. The older you get, the more closer you get to your grave. And I tell you, friends, one of these days, one of these days, someone is going to kick the bucket. And when you die, you leave this world, your body goes to the grave, your soul comes out of the body, and your body crumbles. And friends, ask yourself one question, where will you spend eternity? Friends, when you die, you're not going to carry your money with you into your grave. You're not going to take your Tesla. You're not going to take your Lamborghini and your houses with you into your grave. The only thing you carry with you is your soul. And the Bible says, what shall you profit a man? to gain the whole world and to lose his only precious soul. What shall a man give in exchange of his soul? Your soul is so important to God and that's why God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sinful soul. Our soul is full of sin. And the Bible says the soul, that sin, that soul shall die. The wages of sin, the penalty, the sentence of sin is death. Death awaits everyone who rejects Jesus. Death, hell, and condemnation are with everyone who rejects Jesus. But Jesus came to die on the cross. When Jesus hung on that cross, he came as a man so he could identify with you, to claim your substitution by, by identifying and representing you on the cross. When Jesus hung on that cross, Jesus was taking the things, the failure, the weakness, the evil of all mankind. Jesus was taking all of our sins, your past sins, your present sin, your future sin were placed on the Son of God on that cross for you. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins. Because you see, friends, if you should be judged for your sins, God is a God of justice. God is a God of justice and no one, no one will be able to escape from the wrath of God. No one will be able to escape from the justice of God. God is a God of justice. 
God is a God of righteousness. He's a holy God. A holy God hates sin. He hates sin. If you don't know Jesus, you have sin abiding in your heart. If you don't know Jesus, you are dwelling in sin. You are dwelling in darkness. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. He that believes in me shall not walk in darkness. If you have Jesus in your heart, you have the light of God in your heart. If you have Jesus in your heart, you have the light of God in your heart. If you have Jesus in your heart, you have immortality in your heart. If you have Jesus in your heart, you have incorruption in your heart. Because Jesus is the only way to heaven. And Jesus said, come to me. All you who labor and are weary and heavily laden, I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Why not come to Jesus? I know, yes, you've been suffering so much with heartbreak. This world has rejected you. Men have disappointed you. Men have rejected you, my friend. But I want to tell you, your Father in heaven has never rejected you. Your Father in heaven has never abandoned you. God so loved you. God so loved you that He sent His only Son. He sent the only person He had. The only person in eternity that He had. His only Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, the only Son of God. That's what the Bible says. While you and I were yet sinners, while we were still in our sins, God commended His love toward us in that He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. God sent Jesus while you were an enemy of God. While you were an enemy of God, God still loved you. While you were blaspheming the name of God, while you were using profane words, God still loved you. While you were involved in sexual immorality, while you were involved in masturbation, while you were involved in LGBTQ and homosexuality, while you were involved in adultery and fornication, while you were involved in that biting and gossip, God still loves you. God's love for you has never faded away. God's love for you is unfailing. And God loves you so much that this part of your sin, this part, this part of your wrongdoing, this part of your unfaithfulness, this part of your failure, God sent Jesus to die on the cross for you. What manner of love that the Father God has upon us that He sent His own Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. What manner of love? The love of God is so big. The love of God is so huge. The Bible says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. Just listen to the expression to God's love behind it. God so, so loves you. That's how much God loves you. God loves you with an unconditional love. God loves you with a love that transcends the human understanding. God loves you with a love that transcends the five senses. God so loves you. In that he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever, whosoever believes in Jesus Christ. You see friends, the Bible says whosoever. It doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter who you are. You may be Hispanic. You may be white, black, yeah. Caucasian. You may be Asian. Whosoever you are. God still loves you. It doesn't matter what racial background you are from. God still loves you. It doesn't matter whether you are a poor man, you are a rich man, whether you are tall, fat, short, thin, God still loves you. It doesn't matter whether you are homeless, God loves you. You've been disappointed and they call you name, God loves you. They see you as an LGBTQ and they reject you and they call you name, God still loves you. God loves you so much that He gave you Jesus Christ. Yes. And the Bible says Jesus is a friend of sinners. Yeah. He came not to condemn sinners. Jesus did not come to condemn sinners. But that through Him, sinners may have eternal life. God loves sinners so much that He sent Jesus to die for sinners. Yeah. God loves sinners so much that He sent His only Son, Jesus, to die for you. And if you can believe in that, if you believe in Jesus, Jesus will come into your heart and your life will be changed. I tell you friends, God loves you in your sin that He wants you to come out of your sin. He doesn't want you to stay in the sin. He doesn't want you to stay in that fornication. He doesn't want you to stay in that LGBTQ because it is destructive to your soul. 
Masturbation is destructive to your soul. Weak addiction, smoking is destructive to your soul. And I tell you, friends, the reason why people are involved in all of this wrongdoing and bad behavior is because they don't have Jesus. The Bible says Jesus is the truth of God's word. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus said, no man comes to God the Father but except through me. I didn't say Jesus said it, except through Jesus. The only way you can go to heaven is through Jesus. Not through Buddha, not through Mohammed, not through Krishna, not through Joseph Smith, not through Pope Francis. The only way you can go to God is through Jesus. And I want to tell you, Jesus is the only man in the history of humanity who ever died and rose again from the grave. He conquered sin, he conquered death, he conquered the grave, and to prove his divinity and his deity, he rose from the grave, putting an end to sin. And if you should put your trust in Jesus, you will have eternal life. If you put your trust in Jesus, you will be saved. Now is the day of salvation. That you have to repent from your heart. Because the Bible says the heart of man is the center of that man's life. The heart of a man is the center of the life of man. The Bible says that the man thinks in his heart, so he see. The Bible says out of the heart proceeds lost thought. Out of the heart proceeds lies, seed, murder. Out of the heart as and in the abundance, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Whatever your mouth will speak, it will come from your heart. Because the heart is the man's life. The heart is the center of man's life. And Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, will speak for good things. But an evil and wicked man out of the evil treasure of his heart will speak for evil and wicked things. And Jesus said, if your eyes be dark, how great is that darkness in your body? Why not come to Jesus, the light of the world? Receive the light in your heart. Jesus said, except a man be born again. How are you going to be born again? You have to believe in your heart. Believe Jesus in your heart, not in your head. You can have head knowledge about Jesus, but you are not born again. You can have head knowledge about Jesus, but you will never go to heaven. The message of Christ, His death, burial, and resurrection, must penetrate your heart, must change your heart, must turn you into a new person, a new person. But you need to receive Jesus. You need to receive Jesus. You see, friends, the world is so, so full of sin. The world is so full of darkness and terror. The world is so full of confusion. The world is so full of murder and hatred. The world is so full of racism. One other race hating another race just because of the way they look and because of the things they don't have because you have them. One other race hating another race just because of the geographical area they came from. I want to tell you the world is full of darkness, confusion and hatred and division, division among men. But I want to tell you something, the color of blood that flows through your veins is not purple blood, is not green blood, is not yellow blood, it's red. The color of your blood is red. If you are a white person, the color of your blood is red. If you are a Hispanic person, the color of your blood is red. If you are black, the color of your blood is red. We are all from one human race. We are all from one human race. And this human race is Adam. The Bible says God created Adam. We all came from Adam. We were all born. The Bible says we were all born in sin. The God of the universe, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who created the moon, the stars, the galaxy, the universe, the God who created the sun, the earth, and all of the planets in the galaxies. This same God created man and put him in the garden of Eden. Adam was created without sin. Adam was created perfect. Adam was created innocent. But something happened along the way. Adam was created without sin. When God made Adam in his, created Adam, God said, all the beautiful trees in the garden and said to Adam, 
Adam, you may eat of all the trees in the Garden of Eden, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you can touch of them, because the day you touch of it, you shall surely die. But Adam, I give you the tree of life, the tree of life eternal. If you eat of the tree of life, you're going to live forever, and there will be no death. But just what Adam rebelled and disobeyed God's instruction and Adam.